everyone. This week we're thinking about the colour green. As you see, I love green. Can you? Do you like green? Can you think of something that is green? So hopefully you've been listening to the poems and reading the poems which are all about different colours. I've put them onto the website so I hope you've seen them before but I'm going to read you this week's colour and then you might like to have a go at making your own poem up all about green. Are you ready? Now the pictures help you to read this, okay? There are so many things which are green, so you could use those in your poem. Here it is. Green. Green is the grass. String beans and peas. Mm. Green is the branches on Christmas trees. Well done. Very short, isn't it? Have a go at making your own, okay? Now, I'm going to now read a, a book, which is this week's book. And it has a green character in it. Can you see the green character? Yes, you spotted it. It's a frog. Well done. And we like this story, don't we? It's called Oi Frog. Right, so I'm going to read it to you. Hold up the picture so you can see. There he is. Bouncing off. Off we go. Oi Frog. Oi Frog. Sit on the log, said the cat. Oh, but I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are knobbly and uncomfortable and they give you splinters in your bottom. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on the log. Oh, poor frog. Can't I sit on the mat, asked the frog. Only cats can sit on mats said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting there. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. Mm, a mule is a donkey. What about a sofa, said the frog. Oh, I could stretch right out on that sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the cat. It's really very simple. Cats sit on mats. Hares sit on chairs. Mules sit on stools. Gophers sit on sofas. And frogs sit on logs. do lions sit on? asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Doesn't slam like they're very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on? asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on plows and storks sit on forks. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars, rats sit on hats, weasels sit on easels and moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels. Doves sit on gloves. Newts sit on flutes, lizards sit on wizards, apes sit on grapes. What about puffins? asked the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, mmm, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins, snakes sit on cakes, owls sit on towels, gibbons sit on ribbons, lambs sit on jams, bees sit on keys, and pumas sit on satsumas. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, now you do, said the cat. Hmm, what do dogs 
sit on? asked the frog. I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. You watch out, wait for it. Uh oh. Help! Dogs sit on frogs. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that book. It's so funny, isn't it? It's a great rhyming book. And see if you can find the things that rhyme in this story. Okay, hope you enjoy our green week. See you soon. Bye.